Chapter 2521 Let's beat him at his own game, Yan Hai's quarters weren't in the city palace, every successive city lord wouldn't live together with their children to avoid being murdered one day, and just by this, we were able to know that how bad was the kinship in the upper realm, before 10, they might still be allowed to stay in the city palace, but after 10, they would have to move out of the palace, the moment Jun Wuxi left the city palace, Jun Wu Yao who was hiding in the dark appeared and both of them straight off headed to Yan Hai's quarters, although the city lord was inwardly guarding against his son, according to the normal standard, the place where Yan Hai lived was still very spacious, the huge mansion looked really imposing, Jun Wu Xi had just walked to the entrance, the servants in the mansion then came forward and greeted her attentively, young city lord, you're back, are you tired these days? A group of tall guards stepped forward fawningly, hoping that they were able to leave as much good impression as possible on Yan Hai. Although everyone did not mention it, with the talent Yan Hai got, there was a big possibility that Yan Hai would surpass Yan Wan if he cultivated for ten more years. Since almost all of them assumed that Yan Hai would become the new city lord of the Sea Spirit City in the upcoming time, they would, of course, put all their efforts in to flatter him, Jun Wuxi walked into the mansion with a cold face, after she made those servants leave, both she and Jun Wu Yao stayed in the main hall, the relationship between Yan Hai and Yan Wan can't be described as cold or indifferent anymore, to be more accurate, it should be called a mutual hatred, after you've left, Yan Hai's stepmother keeps on inciting Yan Wan to take action on you, with a smile hanging on the corners of his lips, Jun Wu Yao sat on a chair, he had been hiding in the dark all the time when they were in the city palace, even after Jun Wu Xi left, he didn't leave the place immediately but chose to stay, leading him in being able to eavesdrop on some interesting stories, oh, take action, what are they going to do? Jun Wu Xi raised her eyebrows, not feeling any surprise at the news, the gaze of Yan Wan was so cold that there was no way it should be appearing in the eyes of a father, if it wasn't for the rules of the upper realm, that parents weren't allowed to kill their children whose talents were up to the standard, Yan Wan might probably have already choked Jun Wuxi to death on the spot, the rules in the upper realm were really weird, it had cut off the relationship between the family members, but at the same time, they wanted to raise talented people, resulting them in creating such an order, it could be said that this was the most normal but also the most peculiar rule in the entire upper realm, however, it did make sense for them to give out the order, since all the rulers would probably have murdered their talented children at the first instant to prevent themselves getting killed in the future, as the city lord of the sea spirit city, it was certain that Yan Wan wouldn't do anything to Yan Hai on the surface, but if it was in the dark, well, it isn't some smart tricks, they are just going to let you handle some duties of the sea spirit city to hold up on your cultivation time, if it's the cultivation progression of an ordinary person, it's basically impossible for you to keep up with both sides when you have so many things to deal with, Jun Wu Yao shrugged, nevertheless, this was considered rather obscure way to hinder someone from getting stronger, if it was the real Yan Hai, he could only bite the bullet, but now it was Jun Wuxi who had taken over his identity, yeah? The corners of Jun Wuxi's lips curved into a faint smile, she was a little upset for not being able to let the night regime and the ghost army come over faster, if this was really what Yan Wan had decided to do, it would be easier for her to take action, Yan Wan who was secretly planning to set Jun Wuxi up did not realize at all that he had indirectly dug himself a grave, chapter 2522, let's beat him at his own game, too, the first thing Jun Wuxi did in Yan Hai's mansion was to hold a large scale of personnel transfer, replacing all the servants and the guards in the mansion with the members of the night regime and the ghost army, Yi Gu was an attendant who served for a scholar while Yi Shun Yi Mei were the stewards, and even Jun Wu Yao had become her bodyguard, without everyone in the sea spirit city realizing, Jun Wuxi had already been mapping and arranging her plan, the steward of the city palace visited Yan Hai's mansion in the afternoon, while looking at Jun Wuxi who was sitting on the main seat, his face beamed with a courteous smile, congratulations, young city lord, the city lord was really satisfied with the result of your first hunting experience, and so, 
the city lord had decided to let you take over some of the duties in the sea spirit city. Please be prepared, young city lord. Though that person was smiling on the face, inside him was actually trembling. Yan Wan's decision seemed ostentatious, but as long as one was not an idiot, he or she would immediately figure out the hidden intent behind it after thinking deeply about it. In the sea spirit city, Yan Hai was infamous for his superciliousness and his arrogance, the steward was so scared that he would slaughter him on the spot due to anger. However, the expected wrath did not appear. Jun Wuxi slightly nodded her head while Yisha, the disguised steward, instantly stepped forward and received a letter from that person. All right, I got it, responded Jun Wuxi. The steward couldn't help but felt a little surprise. The young city lord usually didn't seem to be someone who was able to keep his equanimity. He was clearly being fooled by Yan Wan. But why was he acting so calmly? Not being able to think furthermore, the steward could only leave as Jun Wuxi had already requested him to go. When the steward walked out of Yan Hai's quarters, still feeling a little strange, he turned his head and looked at the entrance door that was already closed. He then glimpsed over the guards who were standing at both sides of the door. This was weird since he normally wouldn't think that there was anything impressive about the guards of the Yan Hai's mansion, but today, he suddenly found out that these guards who were guarding at the entrance were sharp in their eyes. The aura they gave out was cool and solemn, seemingly to be different from the past. Nonetheless, this question just ran across the steward's mind for a short while. Not having the courage to stay for a longer time, he left hurriedly. After the steward from the city palace left, Kiao Chu and the others who were standing behind the main hall all the time came out and nimbly found themselves a seat each to sit down. Let's take a look at the letter. Faster. Kiao Chu looked eagerly at Yisha. Yisha opened the letter and handed it over to Jun Wuxi for her to glance through it. Jun Wuxi raised her eyebrows, it's just some chores. Planning the schedules of the departure time of the ships and handling the things in the workshop. Yan Wan was quite smart in this case. These were just some trivial matters. They weren't related to the main authorities of the Sea Spirit City. The workshop. Giao Chu was slightly confused. Jun Wu Yao explained, the workshop of the Sea Spirit City is the place where they process the Sea Spirit Beasts. It will take little Xi a lot of time to carry out the duties given by Yan Wan to her, and she can't play any tricks when dealing with those works, or else, once there's any problem issued, even if Yan Wan chooses to not blame her, the other people in the upper realm will still not ignore it. Jun Wu Yao went through the paragraphs on the letter. He must admit that there were still some brain cells existing in Yan Wan's head. The demand for the sea spirit beasts was directly related to the entire upper realm. Even if Yan Hai wanted to fight against him, he wouldn't have the guts to make any mistakes in this matter. It's really hard to accept the relationship between the father and the son in the upper realm. Rong Ruo shook her head. The fact that she had just arrived at the upper realm but had already been witnessing the way a father persecuted his son, this place was seriously such a disappointment. Chapter 2523, Let's Beat Him at His Own Game, 3. If it isn't for places like this, how would they think of things like the blood sacrifice of the three realms? Fans uh oh sneered. After all, the blood sacrifice of the three realms was to sacrifice all the living things in the three realms. Except for the upper realm, no any other one would ever have the guts to think about such insane and lunatic thing. Fan Zuo's words had hit the bottom of everyone's heart. Little Xi, what are you going to do? Hu Yao raised his eyes and looked at Jun Wuxi. Until now, Jun Wuxi's plan went really smooth and this was thanks to the coldness and the indifference of the upper realm. If they were in the other places, the father might already have noticed the oddness of his son. We'll beat him at his own game. With a flat tone, Jun Wuxi said. There were four purposes of her in coming to the upper realm. First, to search for Jun Gu's soul in the soul world. Second, to find the method to resolve the problem of the chaotic energy in her body. Third, to destroy the bronze sphere and remove the life and death worn in Jun Wu Yao's body, and for the last, to completely crush the plan of the upper realm in carrying out the blood sacrifice of the three realms. Four of these things were the huge rocks that would always be pressing on her heart, bothering her, but she couldn't be too anxious or act with undue haste. Instead, 
She must advance gradually and entrench herself at every step she moved. She was in the upper realm and even though she had the night regime and the ghost army beside her, it was still a perilous situation where there was only a narrow door left for her to survive. Once a tiny mistake was carelessly done, they would lose the whole game. June Wuxi wasn't in a hurry since there was much time left for her to slowly cope with the upper realm. Before she got to spy out the land in the upper realm, she wouldn't do anything reckless. And for now, her very first goal was to take the Sea Spirit City down. Once she took over the Sea Spirit City, there would be a place for the Night Regime and the Ghost Army to stay, plus they had the Sea Spirit City as their camouflage, no one else would notice any unusualness. This hidden card was the first key buried by June Wuxi in the Upper Realm. I'll let the ships set off as soon as possible to transfer the people of the Night Regime and the Ghost Army here. Before that, we'll just have to wait, said June Wuxi. The more dangerous the place was, the calmer one should remain to be. Then do we need to go and have a look in the Sea Spirit City? I was quite nervous when we arrived here. I didn't have the chance to get a good look in the city. Giao Chu scratched on his head. Just go if you want to. I'm not going to look at this broken place. Fi Yan curled his lips. Was there anything worth seeing in this inhuman place? Let's go and have a look. We might find something new, said Rong Yuo all of a sudden. If little Yuo wants to go, then I'll go with you. Without hesitating, Fi Yan changed his opinion. Unreservedly, Kiao Chu threw an antipathetic glare at Fi Yan. Be careful then. Jun Wuxi stood up and her gaze fell onto Jun Wu Yao who was at the side. Do you want to go to the workshop with me? The workshop of the Sea Spirit City, a place where it had the thickest smell of blood in it. Jun Wu Yao gave out a chuckle as he stood up. Sure. Ah ah ah. Can we join you? The moment Giao Chu heard that Jun Wuxi was going to the workshop, he immediately perked up. Compared to the streets and alleys in the city, they were more attracted to the workshop. Jun Wuxi nodded. At the instant, everyone had decided to visit the workshop first. After they left Yan Hai's quarters, a figure that was hiding in the dark immediately ran back to the city palace and report all the movements of Jun Wuxi and the others to Yan Wan. He wasn't complaining at all. This is rare. After Yan Wan received the news brought by the steward and the surveillant, he couldn't help himself from getting a little confused. The way Yan Hai reacted today had truly gone beyond his expectation, causing the methods that he had prepared before this in order to deal with him to turn into a waste. Chapter 2524, An Interesting Piece of News The workshop of Sea Spirit City was located at the corner of the city and covered an enormous area. The reason why Sea Spirit City could maintain its position amongst the 72 cities was because it was close to the Sea of Death and the residents here were very good at hunting Sea Spirit beasts. Every day, Sea Spirit City will provide a large amount of Sea Spirit beasts blood, bones, skin and bones. These items were then distributed to various places in the upper realm to meet various demands. It was still early when Jun Wuxi and friends arrived at the workshop, however, in the afternoon, there were many people busy in the workshop. They were smothered with the pungent smell of blood. The whole workshop was filled with the disgusting scent of blood, death and blood. Every square inch was permeated. When they entered the workshop, many people recognized the identity of the young master. Many people wanted to ingratiate themselves but they were ignored. From the moment June Wixie and the rest stepped into the workshop, their moods sank to an all-time low as they looked around. The dirty ground was stained with blood. The ground meat was embedded in the cracks in the floor, already turning black. The pungent scent of blood mixed with the smell of raw meat made people felt like they vented hell. The few of them only stayed in the workshop for a short while, but felt that they were unable to continue tolerating it. On that island in the Sea of Death, they had spent much time with innocent little sea spirit beasts, but today, all they could see were numerous carcasses of the sea spirit beasts in that bloody workshop. Even if it was described as to pile up like a mountain, it was not an exaggeration. Rong Ruo and the rest were like escaping the workshop as they ran out. Once they were out, their faces were so unsightly, they could not forget what they had just seen. Those dismembered pieces of sea spirit beasts, just like a nightmare, especially the jars that were filled with the blood of the sea spirit beasts. The number was downright shocking. When they left, 
most of the jars were shipped out of Sea Spirit City and sent to the Upper Realm. This is the way that the Upper Realm gain the Gold Spirit. Rong Nuo's complexion was deathly white. On the isolated island, she spent the most time with the Sea Spirit Beast's cubs, and that bloody scene caused her heart to be alarmed and she trembled in fear. Compared to the number of Sea Spirit Beast on board the ships, the number in the Sea Spirit City workshop is truly terrifying. Jun Wu Yao nodded slightly, the blood of the Sea Spirit Beast can be fed to a newborn child, and their flesh and blood can also speed up the ascension rate. Within the army of the upper realm, the meat is the best tonic for cultivation. Having already bled witness to the actions of the upper realm, Jun Wu Yao was abnormally calm. He was only concerned about Jun Wu Xi but he did not find any abnormality on her face. Everyone knew that such a scene was familiar to Jun Wuxi, but only the time and place have changed. Giao Chu and the others could no longer endure it and so they chose to go home. Just as they were prepared to leave, a man with an emancipated face and evasive eyes suddenly walked towards Jun Wuxi. Young master, you're finally back. While you were not here, I have waited patiently. The previous thing. I have not clearly explained to you. That man saw Jun Wuxi and his eyes lit up. Jun Wuxi paused slightly in her walk. The tone of this person's speech was different from that of others. He obviously had some close connection to Yan Hai. Chapter 2525 An interesting piece of news, too. What matter? Jun Wuxi said, not batting an eyelid. That person was slightly dazed. His wretched eyes swept over several people around Jun Wuxi, as he decided if he should speak or not. They are all right. Jun Wuxi said. That person softly said, that is, previously young master asked me to put poison into master's meals. I did so, the medicinal effect is not strong, but it fulfills young master's requirement. This man was a subordinate of the city's palace, because he was able to handle affairs smoothly and slyly and knew also how to win the hearts of the people, he managed to obtain a good job within the palace, however, because of his limited strength, it was difficult to climb up, it was unknown how he managed to hook up with Yan Hai, after listening to this person's words, Jun Wu Yao knew that that the feelings were not limited to Yan Wan's desire to kill Yan Hai, but Yan Hai has also had intentions of patricide, before Yan Hai went out to sea, he specially found this person, and asked him to search for a poison that will wear down the body and plant him into Yan Wan's meals. He also promised that if in the future Yan Hai becomes the master of the city, he will grant the man a government position. This piece of news is indeed interesting. Not only did Jun Wuxi work her eyebrows in surprise minutely, even those around her were inwardly speechless. This was really like father, like son. This old man was preparing to harm his own son but his son had already taken the first time in trying to poison his father. This type of thing could only ever happen in the upper realm. What sort of medicine? Let me see. Jun Wuxi asked calmly, that person immediately took out a prescription from his person and handed it to Jun Wuxi. Jun Wuxi took a glance, and saw the types of herbs used, and instantly knew what the poison was. This poison was indeed dastardly, once taken beyond a month. Even if it was discovered, it was very difficult to eradicate. Even with the antidote, the patient would be unable to recover his original body's condition. It was quite vicious. Unless one knew about the relationship between Yan Hai and Yan Wan, who would have known that a son would specifically prepare a poison for his father. You've done well in this matter. Jun Wuxi returned the prescription to the man, as she cast a glance at Fan Zuo, Fan Zuo immediately stepped forward and gave the man a bag of gold. With a heavy bag of gold in hand, that man's eyes were staring straight at it. One must know, in the upper realm, any sort of gain is directly linked to one's capabilities. He did not have pure intentions, and his strength was passable. Sloughing away in the palace for a year did not equate to that much money. Thank you young master. Thank you young master. To be able to carry out tasks for young master, it is truly my honor. In the future, whatever you need me to do, young master please just tell me. I will certainly do my utmost best, and spare no effort, even to my last breath. Anything else? Jun Wuxi asked. That man cleared his throat, 
and grasped the bag of gold carefully in his embrace. He looked around and carefully said, I may not know too much about other matters, but I've heard an official say that the master seems to be very unhappy about young master's performance. That Liang Shi she seems to have a lot of pillow talks with master, saying that she wants to deal young master. Young master, you should be more careful. Master's temperament is vague. I also heard. The man paused and discreetly gulped. Young master had a few brothers, who when they were born, they were discovered to have good innate talent. Logically, it is reasonable to say that they can handle the initial training, but, chapter 2526, an interesting piece of news, 3. But those few young masters, for reasons unclear, died in the earliest training phase. I've been with the palace for many years and I have heard bits and pieces of the story, looks like the deaths of those young masters are connected to the master. That person was more forthcoming after receiving money, as he told June Wuxi everything he had found out. June Wuxi discreetly sent a signal with her eyes. If Yan Wan is only taking precautions against Yan Hai, she could accept that. But if Yan Wan had continuously murdered his own children, then that was simply too crazy and ridiculous. Even Tiger will not devour its cubs. If what this person is saying is true, then Yan Wan is simply too ruthless, it's too shocking. Is the conclusive evidence? Jun Wuxi asked coldly. That person shook his head. I've heard all these things from various people in the palace and pieced them together myself. This matter is a forbidden topic in the palace, hence no one talks too much about it. There is no smoke without fire so it's most likely true. If not, how is it possible for the sudden deaths of the young masters, and after their deaths? The master was not sad at all. Even you, young master, when you were born, they examined you and found that your innate talent was just average, just slightly weaker than the others. But thankfully, you were fortunate to survive. This matter is truly odd. Now that young master has displayed your abilities, I am worried that the master would harm you. This person didn't have pure intentions, but he knew how to adapt to circumstances. He knew that Yan Hai was his last hope so he was trying his best to board the Yan Hai ship. Jun Wuxi didn't say much after she finished listening. She instructed the man to be careful, and let him leave. They then returned to Yan Hai's mansion. When the door was closed, the faces of several people sitting in the hall were not so good. Oh. Yan Hai is such a brute but I didn't expect that his father is even more ferocious, even after killing a few of his own sons. He didn't even feel troubled. Giao Chu sat on a chair, he was really shocked by the news they obtained today. Who would have thought that the struggles in the upper realm were this terrifying? To protect one's own position from being threatened, Yan Wan would actually murder his five children without blinking an eye, you know. If you really count it, Yan Hai could only be regarded as the sixth child of Yan Wan, and the few of them have already died in infancy. This is the upper realm. Wrong Yuo sighed. The cruelty here was indeed frightening. Since Yan Wan can kill five of his own children, now that little Xi is assuming Yan Hai's identity, judging from Yan Wan's precautions against you, it won't be long before he makes his move. I think he gave you more tasks to keep you occupied and trick you. I have a feeling that he's planning something behind your back. Fan Zhu uh, rubbed his chin. He didn't think that Yan Wan would spare even his adult son. Especially since this son and him were at loggerheads. The five were already killed. This is the last. And he won't escape that easily. After all this time, Yan Wan married Liang Shishe just to have another child. This means that he's already decided to kill little Xi. Fi Yan opened his eyes wide. They didn't think about it before, but after listening to all that, they suddenly realized, chapter 2527, couldn't hold it back anymore. It seemed like Yan Wan's former wives all died suddenly not long after their labors. After they had gone. Yan Wan would once again marry a new woman. The appearance of Liang Shi Shi seemed to indicate that Yan Wan was ready to abandon Yan Hai. Compared to the schemes and the intrigues of the upper realm, Kiao Chu and the others suddenly felt that the past twelve palaces were seriously weak as hell. Little Xi, what are you going to do? Hu Yao raised his eyes and looked at Jun Wuxi. Now that Jun Wuxi had taken over Yan Hai's identity, if Yan Wan was really going to do something, 
she would be the one to deal with him. Jun Wuxi didn't hastily respond him. With her eyes slightly looking down, it seemed like she was thinking about all the information she obtained. A few moments later, Jun Wuxi raised her eyes and glanced over Kiao Chu and the others who were all waiting for her to speak. As for now, leave him alone, huh? Jun Wuxi's answer got Giao Chu and the rest of them stunned. They had already vaguely gotten what was Yan Wan planning to do, but Jun Wuxi still wasn't going to take any action. Our main point now is to transfer the Night Regime and the Ghost Army here as soon as possible. As for Yan Wan we'll just have to roll with the punches. Jun Wuxi spoke casually. Compared to her plan, any actions that were coming from Yan Wan were just some easy cases that couldn't even be brought up to the spotlight. If it was the real Yan Hai, maybe he would have to suffer some loses, but the Yan Hai now was her, Jun Wuxi. With the only little capability Yan Hai had, she was in fact not worried at all. Everyone looked at each other with a very subtle feeling arising inside them at the moment. These evil plots and tricks were probably just some kind of child's play in Jun Wuxi's eyes. In terms of tricks and stratagems, there weren't really many people in the entire three realms that were able to compete with her, and moreover she had the power of the double spirit rings and the unparalleled medical skills holding in her hand. What else did Jun Wuxi still need to be afraid of? Thinking about this, everyone couldn't help but found out that the worries they previously had were sort of preposterous. Since Yan Wan had handed over the duties of arranging the departure time of the ships to Jun Wuxi, Jun Wuxi certainly wouldn't hold any bits back. The early morning on the second day, she had arranged a new batch of ships to set off for the hunts. Not only the number of the crew members had been doubled, but also the size of the ships. The scale of the voyage was exceedingly huge. The excuse Jun Wuxi used was that they had found the activity region of the sea spirit beasts during the previous hunting time, and they should set off as soon as possible so that they were able to hunt more sea spirit beasts. Upon hearing it, Yan Wan responded with derision. Although the Sea of Death was a vast area of ocean, the regions that they were able to reach were very much limited as they needed to return within a month. Such large number of crews being sent off would only cause the problem of congestion. But even though Yan Wan knew about it, he didn't speak a word regarding the problem. The sea spirit beasts in the sea spirit city would be sent to all places in the upper realm. Though there were still quite an amount of stock left in the city, once the supplement wasn't able to keep up with the high demand, it would soon cause a lot of trouble. By the time, the other authoritarians in the upper realm would definitely get into this matter, and Yan Wan could just push Yan Hai out and make him the scapegoat. There was no need for him to do anything and all the problems could be easily solved. Therefore, Yan Wan had let Jun Wuxi do anything she wanted to. The only thing he did was just to ask someone to monitor the movements of Yan Hai's mansion and report to him immediately if there was anything suspicious found. And two months had eventually passed with the situation remaining unchanged. Within the two months, Jun Wuxi had dispatched more than a hundred crews to the sea, but what everybody didn't expect was that, no matter how confident these crew members were when they left the city, they had all failed to hunt for the sea spirit beasts, not even one beast was brought back. Chapter 2528, couldn't hold it back anymore, too. Even Yan Wan was so close to jump and hit the roof after secretly monitoring the movements of Jun Wuxi for two months. What is this little bastard doing? How is he so dumb? Sitting in the main hall of the city palace? Yan Wan was so angry that his whole face went green. And there was Liang Shishe, quietly standing aside, not having the guts to even let out a fart. Before this, Yan Wan had let Jun Wuxi take full charge of the outbound course of the ships. Besides wanting to procrastinate the progression of his cultivation, he had also asked his people to covertly find the leaders of each ship in order to let them hunt less sea spirit beasts after they departed so that he would be able to accuse Yan Hai for slacking on his jobs. But even if he was beaten to death, he would have never thought that the sea spirit city would actually fail to bring even one sea spirit beast back for two consecutive months. More than a hundred crews were dispatched and there were nearly three hundred ships on the sea. Even if all those ships squeezed together in the same region and simply just cast their nets into the ocean, they would still be able to catch quite a number of sea spirit beasts, 
Yet they just returned miserably without even getting a piece of the creature's scale. Even Yan Wan who was thinking to set Yan Hai up was so mad that he was almost going to cough blood out. During the two months, the Sea Spirit City was still constantly exporting the blood, bones and meat of the Sea Spirit Beasts to the whole upper realm causing the plentiful depot to be half emptied all of a sudden. This almost drove Yan Wan crazy. Yan Hai might be the only one to be blamed if it was just a small amount of the sea spirit beasts that was being insufficient, but once it was an overall insufficiency of the sea spirit beasts, then Yan Hai would not be the only one to suffer. He, the master of the sea spirit city, would also hit the bad patch. Before this, Yan Wan was still feeling complacent about his plan, but now, he just wanted to slap himself. Why would he be blinded by the short-term benefits in front of him at that time and handed over the duties to Yan Hai? This is so sickening. This is truly sickening. Is the bastard born to stand against me? He wants me dead. Grinding his teeth, Yan Wan glared at the floor in front of his legs with a gloomy face. Master, please do cool yourself down. Noticing the raging expression of Yan Wan. Liang Shishi quickly gave him a cup of tea as she tried to comfort him with her soft and gentle voice. Cool my ass down. This was the fabulous idea you gave me. Let the bastard handle the outbound course of the ships. He wants to die, that's fine. But if we can't fully supply the sea spirit beasts, there's no need for him to even snatch the position of the city lord of the sea spirit city from me. The people above me will straight away slash my head off. If his lord knows about it Yan Wan couldn't help himself from shivering in fear. The problem had totally gone beyond his expectation. At first, he was just thinking of surreptitiously causing Jun Wuxi some trouble, but he wouldn't have thought that Jun Wuxi would actually choose to send the helve after the hatchet. Don't even mention about hunting a small amount of sea spirit beasts. She straight off brought hundreds of empty ships back. The sea spirit beast stocks left in the entire sea spirit city could only let them sustain for, the most, one month longer. If Jun Wuxi was still going to screw everything up this month, then Yan Wan would also be implicated in the problem. Go, ask the bastard to come and see me now. Let me see what the hell is he playing on. He's the one who wants to die, not me. Yan Wan was so furious to the point that his whole body was trembling in wrath. He thought that no matter how pissed off Yan Hai was, all he could do was just to swallow his frustration up in silence and carry out the tasks submissively since hunting the sea spirit beasts was something that was connected to the entire upper realm. Who would have thought that this guy would actually go to such extent? After being shouted at the face by Yan Wan, Liang Shi Shi did not dare to make a sound anymore scaring that Yan Wan would kill her in a sudden burst of rage. At the moment, she regretted mentioning the idea so much. She shouldn't be talking anything during that time. Chapter 2529, couldn't hold it back anymore. 3. Jun Wuxi was invited to the palace. Upon stepping into the hall, a cup of tea was smashed by her feet. Evil creature, what did you do? When Yan Wan saw Jun Wuxi, his anger surged from his heart as he could not wait to throttle her to death. Jun Wuxi looked at the violent Yan Wan calmly, her face light and clear. She clearly did not take heed of Yan Wan's anger and instead, walked straight to the side and sat down. What's the matter? Her tone was informal, pissing off Yan Wan even more. What's the matter? You still have the cheek to ask me. Let me ask you, these two months you were responsible for the voyage. And what's the result? Not a single sea spirit beast was caught. Where's your capability? Yan Wan glared at Jun Wuxi, he couldn't wait to swallow her whole. She wanted to die, that's her problem, to drag him down with her, absolutely not. Jun Wuxi looked calmly at Yan Wan who had flew into a rage, she already knew what had happened. These two months, she deployed the vessels of sea spirit city to the maximum extent, she sent the men who bore the heaviest sin of killing those beasts on board the ships, out to the sea of death, unbeknownst to them. The ghost army and night regime soldiers were going to ambush them. Once they left the waters of Sea Spirit City, what awaited them was a slaughter. When the ships returned, all the crew on board had been replaced by the members of the night regime. With this secret plan in action, between the night regime and ghost army, more than 20,000 people have entered Sea Spirit City and were spread out everywhere. Meanwhile, 
Not one person discovered anything strange. Jun Wuxi had earlier arranged for the Night Regime and Ghost Army to infiltrate various important venues of Sea Spirit City. Although Yan Wan was still the leader, but with her identity as the young master of Sea Spirit City, mobilizing some positions was not a problem. There has been a sharp decrease in the number of Sea Spirit beasts, they can't find many, I can't do anything about it. Jun Wuxi responded perfunctorily. Yan Wan became even more angry. If he knew that such a big issue would arise, he would never have allowed Jun Wuxi to handle the sea voyages. Sharp decline. You think I've become senile? The Sea of Death has so many sea spirit beasts and has been providing the upper realm for so many years. This has not happened before. You think I'm easy to fool? Yan Wan said simperingly, Jun Wuxi merely shrugged and ignored. Since you are so incompetent, I've praised you too much before. From now on, I don't need you to manage the sea voyages and workshop matters. You are unable to do anything right. If the master wants to impart blame, no one will help you. Yan Wan had tried to gain an advantage only to end up worse off this time. He didn't manage to harm Jun Wuxi but he even had to step up and clear the mess. All right. Jun Wuxi did not protest. Now, there were a large number of her people within the Sea Spirit City and even if Yan Wan wanted to wrest back control of the sea voyages, it would not make a difference. All the vessels that sailed would still encounter attacks from the Night Regime. The first step of Jun Wuxi's plan has been completed. If there is nothing else, I'm leaving. Jun Wuxi barely spared Yan Wan a glance. Who allowed you to leave? Yan Wan was fuming with rage between gritted teeth as he glared at Jun Wuxi. Anything else? Jun Wuxi asked lightly. Yan Wan couldn't wait to kill that brat, but if he did so at that moment, he would be violating the rules of the upper realm. Scram. You better stay far away from me. Don't let me see you. Yan Wan angrily exclaimed. Chapter 2530. The Killing Move. 1. Jun Wuxi left without saying anything further. That nonchalant attitude made Yan Wan so angry that he almost suffered from internal injuries. Bastard. He's really a bastard. I should not have spared this disaster. I should have killed him earlier. Yan Wan's hands were clenched into fists, the anger in his heart raging strongly. But Yan Wan's words were a shock to Liang Shishi who was silently standing aside. People were guessing previously if the deaths of Yan Wan's children were related to Yan Wan. Today, after hearing Yan Wan's words, it was proven true. At the moment, Yan Hai's eyes became extremely malicious. Jun Wuxi has exceeded beyond his control. Even if he had the means to delay the cultivation of the other party, it was not a foolproof plan. Unless, go get the steward. Yan Wan suddenly said. Liang Shi Shi shivered unconsciously. Although Yan Wan's voice was not loud, but it made her absolutely horrified. After Liang Shi Shi called for the steward, she retired from the hall. The steward of the palace appeared to be an old man of more than fifty years old. He was graying slightly at his temples. Except, his eyes were not that of regular old folks, peaceful and calm. They actually gave off a cold and fearful vibe. My lord, you called for me, what are your instructions? The steward asked respectfully. Yan Bei's eyebrows were furrowed, his expression was cloudy, and he remained silent for a while before he said, Now Yan Hai is getting bolder with his behavior and actions. Previously, I wanted to subdue him and force him to exercise restraint, but who knew he would become even worse? Now, the supply of sea spirit beasts are at hiatus. Not only that, his movements and actions within Sea Spirit City have not been small. Many of his people have been placed everywhere. The more Yan Wan spoke, the angrier he got. His facial expression was terribly gloomy. The steward named Old he quietly listened to Yan Wan's tirade. By the time Yan Wan finished, he knew what he had to do. Since that year when Yan Wan became the master of Sea Spirit City, old he had been serving him faithfully. Although the two seemed to have a master-servant relationship on the surface, the status of the old man within the palace was extremely high. Even Yan Wan treated him with some degree of respect. He didn't boss old he around like the other servants around him. Within the Sea Spirit City, the only person who truly understood Yan Wan was old he. My lord feels like young master has gone overboard. You want to clip his wings? Old he asked to test waters. But, 
Yan Wan shook his head, what if I clip his wings, I chose to spare him because his innate talent was just above average and it wasn't a cause for concern, but who knew that this little bastard would be so successful in his cultivation that he has surpassed my cultivation position from last time, now that he has such intentions, if I spared his life, wouldn't I be asking for trouble? Yan Wan narrowed his eyes as malicious intent flashed within them, if that is what my lord has decided, that it shall be done. Old he replied, I'll leave this matter in your hand, although that fellow deserves death, he cannot die by my hand, he was famous in the army's roster of the lord, if he has to die, his death must have nothing to do with me, you understand? Yan Wan narrowed his eyes further, a cold smile broke upon old he's wrinkled face, I understand, my lord, Please don't worry, I know what to do.